Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Abby. I share fashion, lifestyle, mom life, all that good stuff here on my channel. Love doing a good handbag review video, a what's in my bag. So if that's stuff you're interested in, I would love for you to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below and introduce yourself. This is a video for the Louis Vuitton more 30 in comparison to the June file GM so I hope you stay tuned make sure you stay tuned till the end and I will share a little bit of what's in my bag in comparison to the two bags and how they hold the same exact item so let's go ahead All right, you guys so like I said I wanted to share with you my Louis Vuitton uh, June file GM and the Seymour 30. So I wanted to go ahead and give you a little bit of an overview of the bags. I'm sure you might be familiar with them if you've seen my other videos. If you haven't, go ahead and check those out. Um, I kind of share a brief overview of the bag. Um, but there are a couple things in common I wanted to share with you guys right off the bat um, that actually deterred me at first from getting the June uh, File GM. Um, actually in any size um, was the buckle on the front at first it really had me concerned that this bag was going to be super hard to access that um, for some reason it would be just really really challenging um, but quite contrary to my um, thoughts and preconceived notions of this it actually isn't true so it does feature the buckle and the front pocket. Um, but with that said, the front pocket, I really, I never access it. I never use the front pocket. Um, I keep it all just for looks. I find that I have plenty of room in the bag um, with the inside of the bag, the interior pocket, and the pocket behind. I absolutely love this. This um, pocket on the back, I always use my phone. I'm um, in there. I find that I have plenty of room to go ahead and stick it in there. The bag, I have it filled to this brim. But guys, this is like my necessities. All the things I need fit perfectly in this bag. I absolutely love it a thousand times more than I thought I would. Um, as you can tell, it just it really, really fits well for the things I have with plenty of room to zip it shut. And oops, <laughs> what, what the inside looks like. I've got it completely full, but I, I can't say enough good things about this bag, honestly. Um, like I said, I was hesitant uh, to purchase it just because I, I thought it was going to be too small. I thought the pocket would be uh, really hard to deal with because I thought that was the main access to the bag, um, or at least half of it, if you will, but it is not. So um, that is the number one, I guess, thing about this bag that was different opposed to actually getting it and using it. Um, with the same more, I want to go ahead and address the buckle right off the bat as well. Um, this one is a double buckle bag. So the only access you have to this bag is through the buckles. Um, it does have the buckles on the side, but it's just the two pouches that separate it. So the buckles here tend, like, I, I don't know how to put it. I try, I've tried to put them in here. Um, without looping it at all and it doesn't stay shut really when you carry it but that is usually what I do if I'm using one side um, I do still have to clean this bag up a little bit but like I said the buckles on this one you have to use the buckles to access your bag to access your bag you have to use buckles um, as far as size comparison goes I want to give you guys a side by side so the June file G this is the GM um, it comes in the PM the MM and the GM the PM is really pretty small you can still hold your keys in your wallet um, and maybe your phone but the MM is pretty similar to the GM but I did find for myself the GM was uh, the best size for me so let's see let's go ahead and get a side by side for you guys so this is the Seymour 30, and this is a June Pile uh, GM, and this one's empty right now, but this one's completely full, but I think it gives you a little bit better idea on size. Um, they're pretty similar, but the thing is about this one is you have the two pouches, and so actually, so actually, um, this one I would say one pouch can hold as much as the June GM. Um, so if this is maxed out, this bag completely, I find that I can put all of this stuff in one pouch in here. Let me show you guys. Um, so this one actually, I don't mind this slouchy. I tend to use one side. Uh, one side of this bag does have an extra compartment, which is really, really awesome. Um, I try to make that my front part of the bag, even though it's technically, I think, the back. I don't know. 
teach their own. Um, but we'll go ahead and let me show you guys how this works and put those in there for you. So I have my agenda, my um, two key pouches. One is my wallet, one is uh, my daughter's hair ties. So I do keep that in there as well. The agenda PM, um, random receipt that just floated in there. Um, my keys. Um, the cosmetic PM that I have my miscellaneous stuff in. Um, and then I usually do have like a pack of gum, um, chapstick, sometimes um, trying to think, sunglasses. That's what it was. I was like, I was forgetting something. It's in the car, my sunglasses. Um, I do put those in sometimes as well. Yeah, I don't have anything on the interior pocket on this one right now. But let me show you guys how this works here. So I completely cleared out the June GM. And if I can get it zipped, there we go. Okay, so now I want to show you guys what this looks like. So I just filled completely the one side of the bag, and that's what it looks like. And then this is what this one looks like empty. So um, to give you an idea, this one is similar in size. I don't think it looks offensive if you don't like fill the whole bag. Like some bags tend to hold items a little bit differently. Like you can tell if it's a little, um, the weight's off, <laughs> if you will. Um, but this one actually, it's really, really cute and it tends to hold its shape. Sometimes I do put like just my cosmetic PM pouch maybe on one side, um, since I don't use it that often. And then my other items the other side. Um, but this bag does still um, hold its shape pretty well, and I think it's still a really good everyday size. Um, I switch between the two depending on if it's raining usually. Um, these are my two go-to crossbody sizes. Um, but like I said, that's like what this one looks like uh, completely full, and what this one's like empty. This one, let me show you again here. So with this one, where's my side that I filled? Let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay, so I showed you what the June GM looked like full. I want to go ahead and show you what this one looks like. This is the exact same items as this bag. And technically, I mean, you could like put a few more things in there. Um, but it's it's pretty much exactly the same size, I think, um, because I don't like overstuffing my bags. Let's see? So you essentially you could have double the room, which is really, really nice. And I love the Seymour's. Um, that they have the two pouches as a mom because what I've tend to I've tend to have done in the past I had the 43 uh, 35 which are pretty big um, But what I did was I made one side my purse and the other side like my diaper bag um, So I could put the kids clothes in here a couple extra outfits diapers wipes all that stuff that they need And we each kind of like have our separate pouches, which is nice um, Especially if you like have yours on the outside so you can use it um, as a purse and accessibility thing um, That is like a downside to this bag honestly I think everybody would say it um, is the buckle closure, but for some reason like this past year I purchased this bag again. I haven't owned it probably in like gosh like four years maybe um, But this past year it's actually been not that bad um, Which I might change my mind. I don't know um, But I've just I really wanted the bag again and um, I just noticed that if I just loop it in and don't go through the whole buckling process um, or like um, stop it with the Stop it with the little leather, the little piece in the leather, and don't like move it in the leather. Um, it does do a lot better, and I tend to not like fight with it as much. Um, but I do really enjoy that, especially after having um, the Monsu. I really love that bag so so much. It, like when we go to the park, and even if I want to hand them, like I had their snacks or something in it, the little buckle clasp. It's the same with the uh, pochette Matisse, and it has the clasp, and it's just so frustrating. And I found myself fighting with it. And like even if I'd go to the store and I'd like have my bag on my hip and I'd clip it and like try to get into it, I found that that was something I just fought with with some of the other bags was the clasp and the opening. Um, so this one I've really I have been enjoying it, but if I'm like out and going and I know I'm running errands, I definitely do go to the June uh, the June file GM. Um, but I really really love it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have used either one of these. Um, which one you've used and if you guys are looking for any because I am I'm just always really curious on what everybody else is looking for and like what your your handbag craving is at the time um, I think my next one if I find the perfect year the perfect style and condition I do want to say more in the uh, original monogram um, I absolutely love it in the Demi Bean and Azure I've seen those you know the special order so I'm interested in those as well so 
Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. I'm always excited to share new handbags with you guys, um, reviews, updates, and all that good stuff. So I'll see you next time. Bye!